Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the Azure DNS cheat sheet. This one's a page in a bit, so let's jump into it. So domain name systems, we're just defining the concept, is a service that is responsible for translating or resolving a service name to its IP address. So Azure DNS, which I think is domain name service, is a hosting service for DNS domains that provides name resolution by using Microsoft Azure infrastructure. One thing that's super important, well, maybe not for the exam, but just for practical knowledge, you cannot use Azure DNS to by a domain name. Uh, it has two things. We have public DNS, so that's, inter uh, that's internet facing, allows you to manage domains for internet accessible domains, pointing your domain to a website, setting your records to preview on the domain, records to connect your domain to the email server, and then you got private DNS, so that's internal facing, allows you to use your own custom domains instead of the Azure provided domains. So for the DNS zone, it is a container for all your record uh, DNS records for a specified domain name. DNS record is a rule that says where to send your a domain name. A record is composed of name, type, and values. And for the types, we have A, which is an address, uh, 4As, which is for IPv6, CAA, which is certificate authority, CNAME, uh, MX, NS, PTR, SRV, TXT, SOA. If there's ones you want to remember, it's going to be CNAME, A, uh, and uh, probably uh, this next one here, which is the alias. So Azure has its own special record type called alias that works with A, uh, the four A's and C name. And the purpose of Azure alias is to ensure that when you point to an Azure resource, because instead of choosing IP or whatever, you choose the resource you want to point to, it will always make sure it points to it. So it helps us avoid dangling domains. Uh, we have record sets. This is a group of records. Azure always creates a record set, even with a single record. And then the last thing here is time to live, which says how long a value should be cached for so that, um, you know, if it's something that's very common, it's going to uh, save some requests. So there you go.